Greetings from Nativity. I'm Father Michael White, the pastor, here to talk to you about our plans for Christmas 2022, which we've already started working on. As everyone knows, for over a decade, we've celebrated Christmas Eve at the Maryland State Fair, initially at the exhibit hall, and later, as we grew, in the Cow Palace. Christmas at the Cow Palace became an established custom and even a beloved holiday tradition for many families. At the same time, it afforded us the opportunity to be open and accessible to the larger North Baltimore community on the one evening of the year when nearly everyone wants to come to church. On Christmas of 2019, we welcomed 10,000 parishioners and guests, our biggest Christmas Eve ever. Christmas 2020 could not have been more different. With large gatherings restricted, the Cow Palace stood empty and we all stayed home. Though thanks to the magic of our creative tech team, we were beautifully united electronically in a soaring celebration. In Christmas of 2021, with COVID lingering and the surge in the Omicron variant, we split the difference, a step back toward our pre-COVID celebration rather than a full-blown revival of it. And while we were disappointed we couldn't return to the Cow Palace, it was a joy to celebrate Christmas for the very first time in our beautiful new church building. Besides our online congregation, we welcomed just about 3,400 guests and parishioners here on Ridgely Road, all of whom we could comfortably see at two Masses. Both pre- and post-COVID attendance on Christmas Eve has always been easy to forecast. It's about double our typical weekend attendance. As we've gathered this fall, weekend in-person attendance has remained more or less flat, about 2,000 each week. With 1,500 seats and three weekend masses, that means there are thousands of empty seats at Nativity every week. I assure you, we do plan a robust program to get more people back to church next year and are confident we can. But meanwhile, we have to be honest and acknowledge that the current numbers simply do not justify the effort and expense of a return to the Cow Palace this year. Our Ridgely Road Church Complex can easily accommodate the numbers we can reasonably anticipate in attendance. We know this news will come as an additional disappointment to some, and we share your disappointment. But allow me to temper that disappointment with the assurance that Christmas here on Ridgely Road will be more beautiful than ever. We'll be offering two masses, times yet to be determined, in three stunning venues, with lots and lots of on and off campus parking sparkling decorations inside and out, beloved music, a relevant message for you and your guests, all the holiday traditions you've come to love at Nativity, and the majesty of Christmas Eve Mass. We can't wait to see you here.